So for the ghost, you can get some 20 gauge wire and just free form it. Just take the uh, pliers, bend it on a angle, and then just bring this one down. And you can do a very plain shape if you want for the ghost. So we could just do like sort of a little loopy thing at the bottom. Give it a little shape by pushing that out a bit. And then just take this, bring it around, clip it, pinch that one down. So this is just white nail polish and we're just going to stick it on there. We want to fill in this area. So it might take a little while, so get more if you need it. If you have thick nail polish, it'll work better. And then we'll just let that dry. To make the ring band, we need 18 gauge wire. We're gonna bend this at a right angle. Take your ring mandrel, hold it here with your thumb, and just wind it around as many times as you want. I usually do two. And then we'll just hold it, take the end, and wind it around. Pull it with the pliers. Remove it, clip that, Pinch it in so it's flush. Give it a pinch with the tweezer nose pliers. Cut this to about half an inch. And then take your round pliers and make a little loop. That end's gonna be flush in there. So to make eyes on your ghost, just put a little bit of nail polish on a piece of paper or plastic. And then just take the end of a toothpick, pick up a little bit of the nail polish, and very gently dab on an eye. Take a little bit more. If you want it bigger. And then we'll do the other eye. And then the mouth. And then we want to let it dry. I probably should have done the loop before I painted it. We're just going to put our round pliers and bring this one around. I usually like to bend this over to one side, but it's a little tricky once it's painted. So then we're going to bring this one all the way around. And we're going to give it a little clip there. Open it up a little more. I painted both sides second time was a little bit better. So then we're going to slide it on the ring, close it up, and there we have our cute little dangly ghost ring.